Good morning, Detector Rats. Park Rat Pat here. I'm out at the 1930s permission. I got Mark with me. We got some weed eaters in case we need him. We're going to get out here and do some swinging around. It's a rainy day, or as we like to think of it, Florida flurries. Let's get our hunts on. I'll catch you at the first hole. everybody moving along through this area here finding a lot of slag got a piece of what looks like a rusted out wing nut down here had a couple of nails just got this big old bazinga out of the hole but hey good stuff has come out of this place before let's keep swinging and find out what we can get all right everybody I had a penny signal down here went for it ended up getting this spring from an old clothes pin and this giant old nut and finally this little piece of copper tubing right there so you know gonna be multiple targets in most of these holes you just gotta go for it and kind of ignore all the choppiness because there's so much bad stuff it could be masking a good signal when you get that one little squeak of goodness just go for it cuz the treasure could be there alright I'll catch you at the next hole alright I got a signal down there and pulled another one of these springs from a clothespin, but this one's super old. Look at that back end design. See, it's not a complete coil from side to side, like the kind we're used to. This is just a coil on each end, shafted in the middle like that. This is beautiful. I don't know what year this would uh, date back to, but very cool. First time I've ever found one like this. Awesome stuff. All right, well, let me keep swinging. Alrighty, well, it may not be a weedy, but it is a chunk of copper. That's an old piece right there. Cool stuff. Alright, Mark had to leave. He had something to uh, come up he's got to deal with, so I'm out here alone, but uh, that's alright. I'm going to keep swinging, seeing what kind of goodies show up. I'll catch you at the next hole. Alright, alright. First coin on the day. Looks like a zinc penny memorial. All right, happy to have a coin going. I'm going to take a little break, get a drink here, and uh, keep on swinging. Well, now, that's not a penny. Not sure what it is, but I'm fairly sure it's copper or brass. Pretty awesome. Okay, in the pouch, on with this rainy day hunt. Hey, everybody. Park Rat Pat here. Woo! Soaked Rat Pat, that's for sure. It's coming down out there. I haven't found anything but trash, just one penny, but I'm okay with that because, you know, that's what happens sometimes, and I've had a good time out there doing it, but yeah, I'm soaked. I'm going to hit one more permission. Hopefully, I'll find something cool there. If not, you'll see all the junk in the wrap-up, and then we'll get on with the uh, giveaway for today. We're at that halfway point. This is giveaway number 12, so uh, I hope everybody's excited to see who the next winner is. And thank you all for playing along. Now, I'd like to expand, if I could, on what I was talking about yesterday. When it comes to getting permissions and building rapport with people, the body language is very important. It is. Another thing that's very important is your actual language. There's a thing called cold read framing. It's been done to all of us, and some of us have probably inadvertently done it to others, or maybe intentionally. And, and what that is, is when you say something about somebody that's nice, whether it's true or not, they try to live up to that picture. So, for instance, you're speaking to a potential um, prospect to, to get a permission on. You can say something like, well, I can obviously see that you're not the kind of person who's going to have the wool pulled over your eyes. Boom, they're going to try to live up to that. And that's why I'm not going to pull any punches with you. I want you to see everything I dig so that you'll know exactly what's out here and what great potential this property has. Oh yeah, 
I definitely want to see it. You see, you told them something about themselves they want to live up to. And then you've told them what you want to do based on that. At this point, they're accepting what you said, and now they cannot decline what you want to do with that information about them. And so it is a little bit of a mind game, but it will help in getting the permissions. And that's just one phrase to use. You can come up with your own phrases or go online and read more about cold read framing. It's done a lot of times in business. It's done a lot of times in sales. And it can be real helpful in getting the clothes and getting that yes. Another thing I'll recommend that you all do is go online and get a blank liability waiver. Okay, a liability waiver, simple little form. You can fill in the names and certain little details that you need to that are specific to your situation. But basically it's a form that you're gonna sign and they're gonna sign. This form gives you permission to hunt on the property without holding them liable. If you twist your ankle, get bit by a snake, trip over a branch and break your wrist, whatever, they're not liable. And that waiver right there can go a long way toward them saying yes, because now they don't have to worry about, oh, what if he falls over this or that, or he's out here in the yard and gets dehydrated and has a stroke or something. Boom, that liability waiver keeps them safe and their own safety is very important to them. So you say, now, I can tell you're the kind of person who knows the devil is in the details, and what I have here is a liability waiver that holds you completely unaccountable should I twist my ankle, get eaten up by fire ants, bit by a snake, whatever might happen, so that you're not on the hook, and your income, your place, everything you've got is safe. There's nothing I can do to come against you to, to take what you have. So this form will protect you in the event something happens to me. That's a detail they want to see. It's a simple form. Have a few in your vehicle. Start knocking on those doors. Body language, cold read framing, liability waiver, all big things. All right. I'm going to move on down the road. I probably bored you enough with this stuff. I'll see you at the next hole or I'll see you in the roundup. Okay, here we are with the very park rat roundup. Yeah, it was one of those kind of days, but uh, super rainy out. Roads are all flooded. So happy that I was able to get out a little bit. Sorry, Mark couldn't stay, but you know, you got to take care of business. My best two bazingas of the day, right there. Couple of interesting, don't know what they are, is probably nothing special pieces, but you know, interesting in shape. I got one penny. Hey, happy to have something on the board there. I found this clothespin clip, and we all recognize these because the big coil in the middle and just the way they, they look. I got this apparent clothespin clip and it's got a different kind of coil to it on that end and uh, that's just probably my most interesting piece of the day and if I had to pick one I'd say that's my favorite find would like to know more about this so if anybody knows about what this is say so down in the comments I'd appreciate that all right let's get on to that giveaway Okay, we have yesterday's video loaded. Let's see how many commenters we had. 99. Huh, it's dropped a little. All right, maybe people are getting bored with the park rat. Let's go ahead and take a look and see who today's winner is. Sorry for the background noise. Who's it going to be? Size detecting. He said, great info, info on talking to persons to gain permissions. Your advice could be useful for many different things. Awesome stuff. Thank you, size detecting. Let's uh, go ahead and see what you've won. Okay, and congratulations to size detecting. 
Today you have won a United States Mint Proof Set, 1995. Let's take a look at those. Yeah, they are beautiful coins. Very awesome. Backside looks just as great. Of course, love that seal right there. Uh, you get, of course, the Certificate of Authenticity and your silver for the day, which are these two one gram Valcombi bars. Uh, you can see there, 999 fine silver. And that's your silver prize for the day. Thank you everyone for playing along and enjoying this giveaway with me. We're only halfway there. There's still a lot of giveaways to go. So please come back, make more comments, make sure you're entered into the next giveaway. Be a public subscriber, of course. Like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to leave comments. God bless. And never forget, you are only one whole way from a really good day.